Spike 92, the fan. 701, it's 3 degrees. It'll be 7 and sunny today. Kayla Harris is here with a Sportsnet Central update. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Dean. The Toronto Blue Jays took a big hit. Marcus Stroman is done for the season with a torn ACL in his left knee. GM Alex Anthopoulos was on Primetime Sports and says it's a tough loss, but he knows what to do. We would have the ability right now if a deal was to present itself to add a player. It's just it's very remote at this time and add someone from training. Aaron Sanchez, Daniel Norris, and Marco Estrada will fight for the final two spots. Stroman will address the media this morning at 9. You can catch it live on Sportsnet 590 The Fan and Sportsnet. The Blue Jays in Baltimore play this afternoon in Dunedin. Drew Hutchinson will get the start on Sportsnet 590.ca at 1 o'clock. The Raptors put up a fight in the second half, but it wasn't enough to close the 26-point gap. The Spurs held off Toronto 117-107. Kyle Lowry played a game-high 43 minutes and scored 32 points. After the game, he was went off about his team's play. Sportsnet Michael Grange joined Dean Blundell and company and commented. Very, very dangerous ground to start walking on when you, you know, you start, you know, we aren't playing hard enough. We got to get more of a bleed and, and these kinds of things. Toronto has now dropped nine of the last ten. Good news, seven of their next ten are at home. Miami is in town on Friday. The Maple Leafs so to Buffalo tonight looking to avoid a fourth straight loss. Sportsman has puck drop at seven o'clock. As it stands right now, Toronto has a 9.5 chance of getting Connor McDavid sitting 15 points ahead of the Sabres in the overall standings. NFL free agency opened up. Darrell Rivas signed with the Jets. He'll get $70 million over five years. The Seahawks acquired a tight end Jimmy Graham. The Eagles and Rams switch quarterbacks. Philly sent Nick Foles to St. Louis for Sam Bradford. You're listening to the home of Leafs Nation, Sportsnet 590, The Fan. Bloodell and company. You cannot play with them. Cannot win with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't do it. I want winners. No more, more, more of Team Bloodell and company on Sportsnet 590, The Fan.
tears his ACL done for the year. Yeah, and so Toronto is and, 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 and Saunders' news turned good. He was going to be back. Hey. Uh, optimism, and then, hey, we're fielding Bonte. Hey, yeah. And we're done. Oh. Yeah. I, it, well, it's, it's the most devastating pitcher, uh, pitching injury on the team, uh, I think. Because to me, the team doesn't really have an ace, but if there's one guy step up and be the ace, I right. think it was Stroman from yeah. what he did last year. You know, we talked about the upset of Sanchez and Norris. Stroman actually did it in the bigs, right? Uh, and now... He was 11 and 6 last year, like a year of like three and a half ish. Yeah. Don, uh, he was, and when he's so on, even, yeah, he's always in it. He, he was always in the game. It, it's not like it wasn't like Dickey or, or God forbid, Burley. Burley still uh, one of the was and still is one of the most heralded pitchers. He's got a no hitter. He's got a, a World Series. He's got two no hitters. He's got a World Series and a perfect game. Uh, don't, don't take away from from the accomplishments of Dickey and Burley, but when they get hit, they get pounded. Uh, and, and and Mark Strom never really just got batted around. So what do we do now? Yeah, he, he had a couple instances, Dean, where he was, you know, he got hit hard. But again, you know, all the not taking hard here. Well, no, not. And if R.A. Dickey would have went down yesterday, it would have been okay. I think, you know, nah, that's, that's a big loss. That's a lot of innings. But it's not the, the hole that Strowman's going to leave in this rotation because the upside is still there. You, you just don't know what he was going to have. Obviously, you're always worried about the old sophomore slump.